Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at really quickly in this video is Unify Talk and the phones, a locked versus an unlocked phone. So this uh, phone that I have here um, is hooked to my uh, UDM SE, which is running Unify Talk. Now, this is an unlocked phone. So what, what does that mean, right? So let's talk about that. This, this came up because we've had a couple people um, not look at how locked and unlocked is necessarily defined in the Unify Talk ecosystem. So I want to cover this because it's important. Um, if we come over to the Ubiquity store, if you go to uh, new integrations, then they've got managed VoIP. And you can see they've got the phone max, they've got the phone touch, and the ATA, the analog telephone adapter. Now, both the phone touch max and the phone touch both offer a locked and unlocked version. Now, what you have to understand is it's not as simple as locked and unlocked. It's actually subscription locked and subscription unlocked. But people will sometimes glob onto some wording. Um, and in this case, uh, they're probably used to like how, you know, cell phones are locked or, or unlocked. They may not be thinking because we may not have been conditioned for this about the word subscription in the front, but they have two different versions of each of these phones. And one is subscription locked, which I'm on now. And the other one is subscription unlocked. Both of these phones, both of the handsets come in white or black, and they both come in subscription locked or subscription unlocked. So what does that mean? So right here you can see for the, the but let's go to the, the phone that I can show you that I've got hooked up, right? So here's my phone touch, the one that I've got right back here. Very nice phone. If I, if I tried to tell you that this was not a good looking handset, first of all, I'd be lying to you. It is a great looking piece of hardware. Once again, we're going back to my favorite thing, that built-in mute button in the handset. Uh, somebody commented on a video and said that the, only, the what would make this just a little bit more perfect is if there was some sort of an indicator that your handset was muted. And I do, I do agree with that. However, I always go by the old... Uh, rule of thumb that I wouldn't, I shouldn't say anything while someone's on mute that I wouldn't want them to hear because you never know when the system's going to, you know, mess up <laughs> and they're going to hear something you didn't want them to hear. Uh, so back to the store to take a look at, at what this is. And I actually had somebody buy some handsets because of this language and they're not going to be able to use them. So what they thought a locked versus an unlocked phone is, is they thought that you could use these phones on a third party phone system and you cannot. So let's, let's start with that. The very first thing you should know is the phone touch and the phone touch max. You can only use these with Unify talk. That's it. These, this is, you can only use them with Unify talk. Now I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to go, well, my cousins, brothers, kids down the street, uncles, somebody's got a firmware that's hacked and I can run this on a whatever system. That's good for you. You are a very small edge case, corner case, and that's not what we're talking about here. We are talking about the majority of people who are buying these phones understand and should, if they don't, they should understand that you can only use these phones with Unify Talk. Now, over to the subscription locked and the subscription unlocked. So if you look at this phone right now on subscription lock, this phone is $79. If I go to subscription unlock, this phone is $199. Well, why the price difference between subscription locked and subs subscription unlocked? So subscription locked, you get this phone cheaper because you're going to pay the $9.99 a month 
per phone. Now, that will work out if each of your phones needs a DID or a direct incoming phone number, right? If, if you don't need it to have just an extension, you need that direct incoming phone number, then that's fine. Use the, uh, the subscription locked phone. But if this is going to be an internal phone that doesn't need a direct number, even Ubiquity will tell you that you should go with the subscription unlocked phone, which is more expensive, but it allows it to be an internal phone. It can be part of a ring group. It can be, um, uh, you know, in a closet, and it doesn't have to have that direct phone number. So it's, it's a phone maybe that's in the kitchen or in the break room or, or whatever that doesn't need that incoming direct phone number. So right here, they even tell you, so subscription locked phones must be assigned to a user with a unique personal unified talk phone number and have an internet connection to function because you're going to pay that $9.99 because they're going to give you that phone if you're paying for the subscription at $9.99 per month for the phone, <clears throat> you're going to get that phone for $79. If you go with the subscri uh, subscription unlocked, it's $199 because you're not, you don't have to pay Ubiquity anything every month to use that phone and it tells you right it tells they ubiquity themselves right here on the store tells you we recommend subscription unlocked phones for configurations where users only share numbers with a group and are not assigned a unique personal unify talk phone number when they say personal unify talk phone number that is the did that is the phone number that you buy from unify now you can see that this phone works it's internal calls only because this is not a subscription locked phone. Now, there are uh, other ways to configure Unify Talk, and we're going to get into that because uh, more and more people are becoming interested in it. Um, just like, you know, these folks went out, they they bought all those phones, then found out that Unlocked isn't what they, they thought it was, and they can't use these phones with their current provider. But the, the interest is definitely there. Um, so we definitely make sure that we have installs available. We do have a small amount of customers. Uh, most of the time when people come to us with Unify Talk, they've already bought the gear, they're having some issues, they want to use it, and so then we, we do support them. Most of our um, other phone systems, are, we're not using uh, Talk. But the phones do look good. The service is simple. There's some things I'm going to go over in another video that I would like them to change to update, and uh, we'll kind of we'll kind of go from there. But if you've got questions about Unify Talk, let me know down in the comments. If you've got questions, I hope this clear clarified what a subscription locked versus an, a non-subscription locked phone is. It's very important to know when you're ordering those phones. So and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. And come on over and join our community. And uh, we are uh, building a great group, a lot of good relationships over there. Come on over and share your knowledge or ask your questions. Everyone is welcome. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.